and religious minorities. And now let's go across to our correspondent Sadhan Sibyl for the latest on this issue. Sadhan, it seems that the pressure is showing on Pakistan because uh, it's called a federal cabinet meeting tomorrow and also the National Security Committee would be meeting tomorrow to decide maybe its next course of action after U.S. decided to withhold aid. ...from the United States and finally on the first day of 2018, um, uh, this message comes, the first read by the U.S. President uh, uh, saying that Pakistan, uh, that no more uh, they can fool the American leadership. And of course, a strong message uh, by the uh, American leadership, by the U.S. President. And of course, uh, the pressure uh, was growing. This meet, this federal uh, meeting, the federal cabinet meeting, which was to happen today, will happen tomorrow, primarily because uh, the National Committee there, the National Security Committee, will devise a plan on how to react to it. Pakistan, a day after that tweet, is rattled, it's stunned. It really can't understand how to react. There was one tweet by the Ministry of Defense uh, of Pakistan, but that was largely uh, a statement uh, which was uh, short of the entire intent which the Pakistani foreign minister tweeted that we will give facts and we'll give, uh, we'll separate it with fiction. But uh, of course, Pakistan is stunned a day after uh, that tweet and both India and Afghanistan has welcomed because remember both India and Afghanistan have been impacted by Pakistan's uh, uh, terrorism, its policy of exporting terrorism, it has been uh, hosting uh, all the terrorist groups uh, and of course we have seen some kind of action on Hafiz Said with the Pakistani uh, security uh, agency uh, with uh, the exchange board uh, taking action on the fact that nobody can now give donations to his uh, 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 groups like Jamaat ul Dawa, but these are still short of what Pakistan did last year, and that was freeing Hafiz Said from uh, house arrest, and mm -hmm. he uh, he roams around the streets of Lahore and Rawalpindi like a normal citizen. He's an international proscribed terrorist, and he is still free in Pakistan. That shows that Islamabad is still not very very uh, 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 taking very hard on the uh, mm -hmm. uh, terrorists which are in Pakistan. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So the action that we are seeing in Pakistan against Hafiz Said and other proscribed uh, UNSC terrorists is not enough. Pakistan really needs to do much more. But uh, 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 Siddhant, any reaction that's coming in from either uh, the official circles in Afghanistan, India, or the United States on a tweet by former Afghanistan President Hamid Karzai proposing a U.S. regional coalition of sorts that could pr put pressure really on the Pakistani military establishment to bring about peace in this region. Well, uh, the only reaction which has come uh, is uh, from the Afghan ambassador to the United States and the former president of uh, Afghanistan, Hamid Karzai, both welcoming in India. Uh, in India, the external affairs ministry hasn't reacted. It might react soon. But, of course, uh, the political leadership have welcomed it. And, of course, India has for a long time asking the U.S. leadership uh, and, of course, the new president that it's time that strong action needs to be taken on Islamabad. And uh, this president, uh, Donald Trump, has been very, very uh, uh, confident that he will take an action if uh, uh, Pakistanis uh, are not taking action on the safe havens inside their own territory. And, and we saw what happened yesterday. And uh, that is why the aid has been cut. The military aid of more than uh, $200 billion have been cut. And that has been confirmed uh, by the White House also. So that's a good news, of course, coming uh, from uh, the White House for both uh, Kabul and New Delhi. Absolutely. The United States walking the talk there. Thank you so much, Siddhant, for having joined us with all the latest updates. We'll take another break now. and. Be